Hi and welcome to Bytes and Bits. Modding your PlayStation 3 opens up a whole new range of features to take your console to the next level of enjoyment. The biggest of these is the ability to play pretty much any PS3, PS2, PS1 or PSP game directly from disk backup ISO files. But moving files from your PC to your PlayStation 3 can be a slow process. Especially since some of these PlayStation 3 games can be up to 40 gigabytes in size, which is a big amount of data to copy over. Now in my PS3 games video, I used an NTFS formatted hard drive to get the game files onto my console's internal storage. Now standard FAT formatted drives just simply can't handle files larger than 4 gigabytes, and that probably accounts for over half of the PlayStation 3 games. So we needed to use Multiman Mod or, or Webman Mod to allow the PS3 to read the NTFS disk. But once up and running, we had a very usable system which gave us a copy, copy speed of around about 10 megabytes per second. But this still leaves us waiting for around 20 minutes to copy over a 10 gigabyte game file. Now in a second video I showed you how to run the games directly from the external hard drive which removed the need then for this slow copy process onto the PS3. And this was a great way of keeping our internal drive from quickly filling up, especially if it hadn't been upgraded from the original drive that was supplied with the machines. But not all games can be run from an external NTFS drive, especially when you try to play PlayStation 2 games. These have to be copied over to the internal drive before the system can run them. So in this video I'll show you a faster way to copy large files to your PS3 internal drive. So we'll be using something called FTP to move our files around. Now to begin with though we're going to need to install something called Webman Mod which is one of the homebrew apps. So head over to the Brewology website and locate the app in the app section. You need to download the latest build package file onto the root of an FAT32 formatted USB drive so that we can then install that onto our PlayStation. Now once copied to the USB drive, just plug it into the console and go to your package manager and then install the package from the standard location. So this should read the USB drive and offer to install Webman Mod. So just simply select that package and install it. Now this will install the Webman Mod installer, it's not yet the full package. So on your XMB, move down to highlight the Webman Mod listing. Make sure then that you hold down the L1 shoulder button and then select the full installation and by clicking the X button and that should then install it. So once installed, you should see a new Webman Mod section in the XMB. And if that's all installed OK, we can then delete the installer package. So simply move down to it, click it with your triangle button, then select delete, and that should then remove it from your system. So Webman Mod is an incredibly useful application for our PlayStation 3. But in this case, we're going to be using its built-in FTP server. So FTP, or, or File Transfer Protocol, is a way to allow two computers to connect together so that you can transfer files between them over your network. Now for this to work, your PlayStation 3 must be connected to your local router. Now we can use Wi-Fi, but to get the full speed that we're looking for, you'll need to use an Ethernet cable to directly connect your console to the router. Now most Ethernet cables will work, but make sure that you get one with the standard RJ45 connectors and one that's at least specified at CAT5. Now most of these days um, you'll find that these cables are CAT8 and that is perfectly fine. Now ideally you'll get a cable that reaches from your router to wherever you've put your PS3. Now if that's a bit too far then you're going to need to move the console closer to your router but you'll still need to be able to connect it up to a screen so that we can set it up. Now you're only going to be using this cable when you're moving big files, so, so don't worry about where your cable actually goes, um, you don't need to sort of route it um, carefully, um, just as long as nobody of course is going to trip over it. Now all of this can be a bit of a faff, but it is worth it. 
and I will show you both Wi-Fi transfer speeds and Ethernet when we get there, uh, and you will see that there is a massive difference. Now, once you've got the Ethernet connected, we, you'll need to set up your PlayStation 3 network connection. So on the XMB, go to the Settings section and then to Network Settings. Select the Internet Connection Settings and then OK that first screen. Now, we can use the easy method by simply clicking the right D-pad button. And the console should then detect that we have an Ethernet cable connected, and it should then offer to set it up automatically for us. So click your X button to save the connection, and again, um, when, once we get to the test connection option. So that should test your connection, and if all is OK, you should get a successful method. Now, if, if this doesn't work for you, um, there really isn't much more that you can do other than to make sure that you've got a good connection between your router and your console. So just make sure that you're plugged into your router and make sure you're using one of the LAN ports on the router. So once you're all connected, we now need to find out our console's IP address. So click the circle button to return to the network settings screen and go up to the Settings and Connection Status List option. Select that, and you should then see a whole range of numbers. Now, the one that we want is the IP address. So this is basically the phone number of your PlayStation 3 on your home network. So do make a note of this, as we're going to need it in a second. So that's the PlayStation 3 end all set up. We now need to work on the PC part. So for this, we're going to need an FTP client application. So if you're on Windows, the best one is FileZilla, and I'll put a link to that in the description. So on the FileZilla page, we need to get hold of the client, and then once we click through eventually then to these download options, um, we want the free version, because that's going to do everything we need. So simply download that, and then install it onto your computer. So once that's installed, open up FileZilla, and we should get to this screen. Now we can use the Quick Connect section at the top to jump directly onto our PlayStation 3. So just enter your console's IP address that we found out earlier into the host box, and you can leave the rest of these boxes blank. Then just click the Quick Connect button. And you should now see the PlayStation drives appearing in the right-hand window in the bottom half of the application. If you don't get that, then we need to check um, that the PlayStation um, is powered on and connected to the network. Do recheck your IP, ad IP address. And if that's all OK, um, make sure that your computer and the PlayStation 3 are on the same network and connected to the same router. Now, your PC can be on Wi-Fi, but it must be on the same network as your PlayStation 3. So once you've got that working, we can now start moving some files over. So to transfer files, we need to think of the two halves of the app window as a source and a destination. And we can copy files and folders from one side to the other by simply dragging and dropping them. So let's try copying over one of our PS3 game files. So on my left side, I need to find where the ISO files are stored on my PC. On the right hand side, which is our PlayStation side, I need to open up the folder that I want the file to be copied to. So on the drive list, um, you'll find one labelled Dev HDD0, and that is your internal hard drive. So if you double click, that should open up. Inside there, you should find a PS3 ISO folder. And this is where our PS3 game files need to go. So I can now select some files on my left hand side. So I'm going to select my game ISO file. And this one here needs a key file to make it work. So I'm going to copy, select both of those. And then I can just simply drag them over to the console side. As you can see then, that has triggered the transfer. And if you look in the info box down at the bottom, I'm getting a transfer rate of around 18 megabytes per second. So that's about double that of copying the file directly off my USB hard drive. Plus, of course, with this method, I can just copy them straight from my PC to the console without having to go through any additional drives. So that makes it um, quite a useful method. 
Now, I did mention earlier that Ethernet is the connection that makes this method worthwhile. So I'm just going to reconnect myself up here um, on Wi-Fi. Uh, and again, we're going to try another FTP transfer. So again, you can see that our transferred speed now has dropped down to only two megabytes per second. So at this rate, my 10 gigabyte file will take well over an hour to complete. So again, um, Ethernet is what makes this method worth doing. So once those files transferred over, um, we can then, of course, go off and play our games. And that pretty much then is how we use FTP over Ethernet to get really fast transfers. Now, once you've finished transferring your files, you can, of course, leave the console connected by Ethernet. But if, of course, your cable is in the way, then you're going to need to unplug it and then go back to your network settings to reconnect your PlayStation over Wi-Fi. Um, in, in this situation, Wi-Fi will not be automatically re-enabled when you unplug your Ethernet. So you just got to go back in and reset it up. So that's my tip then for the fastest file transfer for the PlayStation 3. I hope you found this useful. If so, please do click that like button and subscribe to the channel for more gaming, modding, electronics and making videos. I look forward to seeing you again soon and bye for now. For more games programming, electronics projects and retro gaming, please make sure you like this video subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my website.